Welcome to this Windows channel and we are taking a look at the latest version of Google Chrome web browser. We're at version 67. It was released to the stable channel yesterday, uh, May 29th. And uh, what's new in here? Or what will you notice? Well, nothing much if you look at the browser itself but it does contain a lot of little things that are interesting. So one of them, uh, first of all, is that this Chrome 67 browser is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you are not sure if you have the latest, just launch Chrome, go into the little three dots on the upper right corner, go into Help, go into About Chrome, you'll be brought here, and if you're not at 67, it will actually update automatically and want to relaunch so you're at version 67. The version 67 has improvements for uh, authentication on the web. So the web authentication by default will actually is, is getting a, a closer to using biometrics like a fingerprint reader, facial recognition, um, images stored on a smartphone, a USB hardware, or YubiKeys authentication key. So this is getting a step closer on the PC also, so that authentication or authentication, sorry, is um, done in other ways. So you go to your favorite website, it requires a login, you know, no more passwords. They're getting there with Google Chrome and the implementation is a little more advanced in this version. So some devices will maybe already offer it. It depends on what type of device you have. VR, AR, virtual reality, augmented reality, there's improvements in here. They have improved even more to make sure that this actually will work with headsets and will offer content on the web that has uh, augmented or a virtual reality uh, with also fitness tracking, apparently. So if you have a tablet, for example, you'll be able to have the uh, Chrome browser do things that it couldn't do before. Now, if you have an accelerometer, on your tablet or your PC device, a um, gyroscope of any sort, your Google Chrome browser now can actually uh, look at the orientation or the motion. So that means it knows if you're moving, it knows what orientation your tablet or device is. Of course, you need to have a device that has these things, mostly a tablet most of the time, but you know, some two-in-one PCs will have that. So these are features that were mostly, um, you know, smartphone. And now they're actually coming to PC. So this is kind of cool. Also, um, in here, you have better site isolation. So basically, even more protection for some websites that will be isolated. Each tab, each site that you open, if you have multiple websites, they're all isolated in their own little box so that they can't contaminate the other ones. So it's a protection measure if you want. And um, there is a slowdown. They have noticed that there's a 10 to 12% um, higher memory use when this happens. They're trying to fix that. But uh, it, it apparently already is a little, um, you know, it's, it, the memory usage is less now than it used to be. Also, mitigation for Spectre and Meltdown. They've, you know, every version they tweak this. Uh, it's a work in progress. So they're tweaking this to make this a little more advanced. So uh, anything that has to do with Spectre and Meltdown, of course, the first line of defense is your browser. And Google Chrome 67 is improving that for the mitigation also of the latest uh, discovery of, you know, like Spectre ver Variant 4. Uh, for example. And if all of that doesn't interest you, well, one of the things that sh will surely help you move on to Chrome 67, 34 security bugs in here. They have 34 security bugs that have been found. Of them, there's nine that are high security flaws. That means they're probably exploited by bad guys already. 12 medium and three low severity flaws. So that's pretty much it for Chrome 67 latest version of Google Chrome. Visually, you won't see much difference, but there's a lot of things under the hood that have been improved. And if not for the different features, at least for the security updates, 
and make sure that you update your Chrome to the latest version. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.